what's up guys it's covert code here and in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a leaderboard on roblox so first you need to actually understand what a leaderboard is so whenever you join your game you've got the player list on the top right corner of your screen but usually there are some stats on the side so if you have 100 gold or 500 kills or something like that you would want to show that next to the player's name and there's actually a very simple way of doing this so the first thing you actually need to do is make sure you view um, all of these tabs. So just go to View, uh, Explorer, Properties, um, as well as uh, Output. That's a pretty important one right there. And go to Model as well and Insert Object. Next, click on Server Script Service. Click on Script. Okay, so just go to Insert Object, type up Script, just like that. And you've made your script. Let me zoom in here for you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to call this script uh, leaderboard. Okay, and I'm going to clear everything in the script and I'm just going to do a very simple thing called an event. If you don't know how events work, I have a video on that um, as well as a zero to hero series. Um, so just check that out if you're unsure. But basically, game.players, okay, the player added, connect function player. Okay, and all this is is essentially whenever someone joins your game, so whenever a player joins your game, this function will run. That's what the event does. It runs this function. Okay, so someone joined our game. Okay, now the way leaderboards work on Roblox is you need to have something inside of the player called leader stats. Okay, it has to match that exact specific name. So it could be a folder, you could make a value. I usually opt for values. That's um, the way it was done like a few years ago. It still is being done that way today. Um, but some people use folders now. I'm just going to use a value. So um, again, local uh, leader stats or stats, as I like to call it, is equal to instance.new in value. Okay, actually, let's just do that. So We've just created a local variable, okay, which is local stats. Um, and essentially, if you don't know what that is, check out my video on the local keyword. But essentially, we're storing a new int value within that variable. And at the end, okay, we want to parent that to the player. So now, let me show you guys what we have so far. Click play. Um, going to attempt to find our player here, okay? So this is the player that just joined, which is my player, okay? And we're inserting a new value, a new int value inside of the player object whenever they join. And as you can see, nothing is showing up. So let's do something to fix that. Remember that this needs to be called, okay, leader stats. So we're modifying the property, okay? If you don't know what properties are, check out the video I made on that. Um, on those, but essentially you're modifying the name to leader stats. And now Roblox recognizes that, hey, we have a leader stats object in the player. We can actually display uh, the things in the leaderboard or on the leaderboard. Um, the only issue is at the moment, nothing will happen anyway, right? So we've made the leader stats object, but something you should understand is the leader stats uh, object is actually a container for any statistic you want to show uh, on the leaderboard, right? So just having an empty container will do nothing. Let me just show you guys. So we have the leader stats value, cool, but nothing will show up anyway, right? So what if we wanted to show how many kills our player has? So we would do local kills equal to instance.new, okay? Um, and we're just going to create another int value inside of stats this time, okay? We're going to name this to uh, kills, okay? So just like that. And now if we click play, you actually see that kill show up uh, on our leaderboard, as you can see, okay? Um, what if we want to copy and paste this real quick? And in addition to showing how many kills our player has, what if we just, you know, want to show how much gold they have? So we just say gold, okay? And we can just rename this gold. So essentially, we copy and pasted what we just did here, okay? Um, and change the name to gold instead of kills. So if we just join again, you'll see that we have both gold and kills, okay? But what if we want to show the rank instead of gold, for example? You would just rename the variable just like this and call that rank and click play. And now um, the only issue is 
you don't want to show a number for the rank, right? You want to show a uh, beginner or starter or noob or something like that, right? So we would change the value to a string value, okay? Because we want to display a string. Uh, a string is essentially text. In this case, we would need to set a default value, which is beginner, okay? And if you have no clue what I'm doing, check out my Zero to Hero series. I cover everything that I'm discussing here, but uh, click play. And now we'll spawn in as a beginner rank, okay, with zero kills. Uh, and that's essentially how leaderboards work on Roblox. Pretty simple and easy to understand, um, and you can make so much stuff with this. Um, so yeah, guys, that's all I had for this video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you have any suggestions about what videos I should make in the future, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.